Hi, this is a short presentation that is going to walk you through the process of activating your CUNY First account. I promise you this is a very easy process and it is no different than setting up any other internet account. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to enter the CUNY First homepage in your browser and the address is https colon double backslash home dot cuny first dot cuny dot edu you're going to be directed to a login page and you're going to click on the first time users link you're then going to be directed to the account activation page and this page will ask you for some basic information please just be careful about using caps because the system recognizes caps it's case sensitive the first thing you're going to do is you're going to enter your first name you're then going to enter your last name you're going to then enter your date of birth which should be in the format format of a two-digit number followed by a backslash a two-digit number followed by a backslash and your four year year of birth your four digit year of birth you're then going to enter the last four digits of your social security number there is then a capture box which requires you to type in two words that is separated by a space you're going to type in these two words and then click the OK button. Once you click the OK button, you're going to be directed to a page that contains some challenge questions and answers. These are five questions that only you know the answers to that you will need to be able to access in the event that you forget your login information or need to reset your password. You will go to each question and you will just click the drop down menu, you will select the question that you want to answer and you will type in the answer. Once you have finished the challenge questions, you will click the OK button. You will then be directed to a page that will ask you to choose your password. And you will choose a password that generally for security purposes should contain um, a capital letter, lowercase letters, and, and numbers. Once you uh, enter your password, you, you will be asked to confirm your password and you will click the OK button. Please note on this page there are there is the CUNY password policy and the password should contain eight or more characters and also note this page also contains the policy for the password reset once you click the OK button you should receive a message that your user activation is completed successfully you will receive confirmation of your username and you will also receive a number called your EMPL ID this number you should make record of because it's the eight digit number that is used to identify you in CUNY first you are now successfully activated in CUNY first you have your account and this entitles you to do all sorts of things that will make your life much easier such as register for classes, add or drop classes, and view your course schedule. Thank you.